Hi, Tennis Coach Robert here with CarlboTennis.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the complete game of tennis. So many times we talk about the technical aspect, but there's more to it than just the technical part. So in tennis we have um, three components that are very, very important. The first one being the tactics. We always have to start with tactics. So tactics is, you know, we have, and we need to know where we're going to hit the ball. Okay. So that's the number one thing we need to know. Once we have tactics, then we work on the technical part, which for, for most of us, we spend a whole lot of time talking about technique, how to hit the perfect shot and so on. But we're not really thinking about the fact that we need to know where to hit it first. We need to understand and have a good idea of what we want to do. And then we work on the technical skills to get us to hit the ball in that area. Okay. The next thing we have to do is be physically active to be able to do it. So we need to be able to do it. If we have some physical limitations, then we have to change the technical part a little bit to suit our, technical, our physical needs. And we need to constantly work on getting physically fit and being able to achieve the technical goals, which again leads to the tactical. And then the final part is the mental, that we are able to do this under uh, stress if we're playing in a match, that we're able to play it under different circumstances, like today it's cold here, I need to be mentally ready and physic mentally ready to be able to do this. So we really need to understand all these three parts, so we, uh, four parts, pardon me. So we need to start off with making sure we have tactics, okay? So for this example, uh, the number one tactical thing in tennis is to just get the ball in the court, okay? So we want to just get the ball in the court, and once we get the ball in the court, um, the most basic thing is clear the net. Okay, we need to make sure we clear the net. That's the simplest thing that we can do. Once we have that understanding of clearing the net, then we need to make sure that we get the ball inside a specific area. Okay, so get the ball in, number one. Okay, get it in. And then the second one is direction. I need to be able to hit it into a specific area. Okay, and we'll talk more about all these different parts in another video, but I just wanted you to, to have some good understanding of that. The next one is depth, okay? We need to be able to hit the ball deep and short. So I'm going to stick with those three. There are other parts to it too, using my strengths to fight against my opponent's weakness, making sure that I uh, hide my weaknesses and, and emphasize my strengths, etc., etc. And then we'll talk about the use of spin and power. Spin and power are just aids to help you get the ball in, and to hit with direction and to hit with depth, okay, and, and short, okay. So there, I can hit the ball hard, but it doesn't necessarily mean the ball is in. I need to make sure the ball is in first. That's a bigger priority, and then I can add power and spin to help me get the ball in. So for this example here, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you the tennis court over here. So I'm over here in the back side here, and my objective here, I've put some cones over on the other side here. I'm right here. My objective is to get the ball into this area right here. Okay, so I want to hit the ball in the court with depth, and I have some direction. So we're talking about those three parts. So once I'm here, I'm going to just go ahead and drop feet and balls. I'm in this particular area. I could hit the ball many different ways. I could lift the ball up. I could hit a drive. I could hit a slice. And what I need to do is I need to make sure that when I get to this particular spot and I have that direction or intent, I need to make sure that I use the right option, okay? So many times we have players who will go ahead and work on hitting the drives. So they hit the drive and the ball is way out here and I'm running and I try to hit a drive and I'm out of position. So I'm going to lose the point because the shot that I hit there wasn't necessarily the best one. So if I'm in trouble, I get over here. That might be a better shot. Actually, I missed that one. So I need to hit this ball up. That might be a better shot for me to get the ball into the court. It also depends on my level, okay? If I'm a, a certain type of player and have the skill set to do it, then I can choose it, choose different shots. So I can go ahead here and hit a topspin shot, for example, or I can hit a drive shot. So it all depends on what it is that I'm able to do based on my own ability and based also upon what my opponent does. So if I'm in a lot of pressure, I have to hit the ball differently and I can't get stuck on just 
trying to work on the perfect technique to hit a shot and work on one particular technique to just look good and try to get the ball over the court. I need to have a clear objective as to where I need to hit the ball and then develop the tools to make it happen. So the tools can be many. Okay, so I can slice it, I can hit topspin, I can drive it, I can hit it with many, many different ways. But I have to know the most important thing is I have to get the ball where I need it to go rather than just trying to hit a particular shot. And I see many, many players who are hitting shots that they have no business hitting in, the, in very difficult circumstances. And we need to go ahead and just be clear that it's not just how we hit the ball, it's where we hit the ball. So you can go ahead and you can be in trouble and just lift the ball up like this. That's a whole lot better than trying to drive the ball and hit it out. Then you lose the ball or try to have the most perfect technique and trying to get the ball into areas that are not going to work. I get here, I'm trying to hit with a lot of topspin and I can't get it. And if that's not anything that I can do, this might be a better op for, option for me where I can push the player back, my opponent back, and I can control the point and win the particular point. So we need to make sure we have clear understanding of the tactical part first. I'm gonna start talking more about the tactics. The tactics are fairly simple, but we need to make sure we execute them and have the right mindset and understanding of the right tactics so we can develop the technical skills to make that happen. And we'll be a much more successful tennis players. I would like to thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you all for subscribing and a thumbs up, it really makes, uh, I appreciate it a lot, it's very helpful, and thank you so much, you have a lot of options out there, looking at tennis videos and so on, and I appreciate you taking the time to stop by and check out my videos here. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you again. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash carbotennis. Tennis for the people.